Well, today is April Fool's Day and a lot made headlines in terms of, uh, you know, victims who are rather readers and viewers who are caught on, you know, unawares of stories that made headlines on this Fool's Day. And I'll begin with one that featured on the Standard Digital uh, Standard website, www.standardmedia.co.ke, that former U.S. President Barack Obama to relocate to Kenya in June. That story was published nine hours ago by Peter Theory and it indicated that former U.S. President Barack Obama is resettling in Kenya for at least a year as special envoy for U.S. diplomacy, a deployment which he said makes me truly grateful as I pay tribute to the land of my father and forefathers. Now that story attracted quite some traction over 269,000.2 views on uh, Twitter as well as on Facebook on both KTN News and K and the Standard Digital Twitter handles. Another story that also make, made headlines uh, will be a memo that went viral indicating that Nairobi County would start charging motorists with model stickers up to 5,000 shillings as advertising fees, but Nairobi Governor Sakaja uh, went ahead to just reply with a smile indicating that that was uh, you know just fake news or rather a story to fool the residents of Nairobi were you caught on our ears do let me know uh, what you think about that day now earlier on also we did see to something that is now not on uh, fool's day but reality we did see the Muhozi Kaine Rugaba the son of Uganda's president uh, Yori Museveni is saying, quote, my big brother's farm was attacked by hooligans the other day. We will send UPDF to protect him. We will beat those hooligans to pulp. And he continued to say that I asked Nze to deploy me as the officer commanding OC at Northlands. All we need is 200 UPDF soldiers to bring order. He asked me why. I told him that Kenyans need a good beating. He refused. That gained over 416,000 views. He continues to say that after the beating, those criminals take for attacking my big brother's farm. I expect Kenyans to, Kenyans to immediately surrender Westlands to me. He appears to be back on a hunt of you know a piece of Kenya's uh, potions and he's not done that for the first time and saying taking security from Mamangina and President Uhuru are you looking for war with us please try us these are tweets from Muhozi Kaine Rugaba he also continued later in the afternoon to say they must return Mamangina's and President Uhuru's security otherwise we shall capture Kisumu and then continue to say that sorry my Kenyan supporters have advised me to focus on Nairobi one week to Westlands. The invasion of Kenya is also necessary to rescue Kenyan women from boring Kenyan men. We are coming to save you ladies. And he said, Get rescued Kenyan women, please send me your thanks. It wasn't easy beating up those men. He winds up by saying, I shall be greater than my greatest hero, Fidel Castro. My father will gladly hand over power to me. Muhozi Kaine Rugaba, the son of President Yoweri Kaguta Museveni, President of the Republic of Kenya, of Uganda rather, our neighbors here, being on another Twitter roll earlier in the afternoon, especially on this April Fool's Day. We are taking another short commercial break. When we come back, we tell you what happened in the business of sports to stay with us.